Section 1. The Power of a Strong Start Why Your Section Introductions Matter Have you ever started reading a book and felt immediately drawn in? Like you couldn't put it down? That feeling of being completely absorbed in the story? That's the power of a strong introduction. It sets the tone and hooks you right from the start. Now imagine that same captivating effect, but for every section of your writing. Each section introduction can be a new opportunity to captivate. Just like a captivating opening line, a well-crafted section introduction acts as a mini hook, re-engaging your reader and preparing them for what's to come. It's like a breath of fresh air. It's a chance to shift gears, introduce new ideas, and keep your reader moving smoothly through your work. It ensures a seamless flow. Without strong section introductions, your writing can feel choppy and disjointed, leaving your reader feeling lost and confused. They might struggle to follow your train of thought. Think of it like driving a car without signals. You might eventually get to your destination, but the journey will be bumpy and unpleasant. Clear signals make the journey enjoyable. So, how can you ensure that each section of your writing starts with a bang? By crafting introductions that are engaging, clear, and purposeful. Section 2. Setting the stage crafting introductions that hook your reader. The answer lies in understanding the purpose of a section introduction. It's not just about summarizing what's to come, it's about piquing your reader's curiosity and making them eager to delve deeper. One effective technique is to start with a thought-provoking question. This encourages your reader to pause and reflect, immediately engaging them in your writing. Another approach is to use a startling statistic or a bold statement that challenges conventional wisdom. Remember, the goal is to create intrigue and make your reader feel like they simply must read on to find out more. But how do you choose the right technique for your particular piece? Section 3. Finding your rhythm, transitioning smoothly between sections. The best technique for crafting a compelling section introduction will depend on the overall tone and style of your writing. If you're writing a light-hearted piece, you might opt for a humorous anecdote or a playful question. For a more serious or academic work, a thought-provoking quote or a compelling statistic might be more appropriate. Regardless of your chosen technique, it's crucial to ensure a smooth transition from the previous section. You can achieve this by using transition words or phrases that signal a shift in focus, or by briefly summarizing the key takeaway from the previous section before introducing the new topic. This creates a sense of flow and coherence, preventing your reader from feeling jarred by abrupt changes in direction. But what about when you need to introduce a completely new idea or concept? Section 4. The Art of the Anecdote, Engaging Your Reader with Personal Stories Introducing a new idea or concept can be tricky, but one highly effective technique is to use an anecdote. A well-placed anecdote can make your writing more relatable and memorable, helping your readers connect with the material on a personal level. For instance, imagine you're writing about the importance of perseverance. You could start a section by sharing a brief story about a time you faced a challenge and overcame it through sheer determination. By sharing your own experiences, you not only illustrate your point, but also create a sense of empathy and connection with your reader. But how much of your personal life is too much to share in your writing? Section 5. Painting a Picture – Using Vivid Language to Draw Readers In while anecdotes can be powerful tools, it's important to use them judiciously. Not every section introduction needs a personal story. Sometimes the best way to engage your reader is through vivid language and imagery. Imagine you're writing about a breathtaking sunset. Instead of simply stating that the sky was beautiful, describe the fiery hues of orange and pink, the way the clouds danced across the horizon, and the feeling of awe that washed over you. By using descriptive language, you transport your reader to that moment, allowing them to experience it alongside you. But how do you strike a balance between description and conciseness? Section 6. Questions that spark curiosity. Encouraging reader engagement. Finding the right balance between description and conciseness is a skill that develops with practice. It's not just about writing more or less, but about writing better. It's about choosing your words carefully and focusing on the details that truly matter. Every word should serve a purpose and add value to your narrative. 
However, engaging your reader goes beyond just vivid language and personal anecdotes. It's about creating a connection and making the reader feel involved in the story. One of the most effective ways to keep your reader glued to the page is to ask thought-provoking questions. These questions should be designed to make the reader think deeply about the subject. These questions should relate directly to the content of the upcoming section and encourage your reader to ponder the topic at hand. They should be open-ended and invite exploration. For example, if you're about to delve into the complexities of climate change, you might ask, what will our planet look like in 50 years if we don't address climate change now? This kind of question sets the stage for deeper engagement. This immediately sparks curiosity and encourages your reader to actively engage with the material. It makes them want to read on to find the answers. But how do you ensure these questions are truly effective? The key is to make them relevant, challenging and thought-provoking. Section 7. The Power of Dialogue. Bringing your writing to life. To make your questions truly impactful, it's essential to craft them carefully and strategically place them within your writing. A well-placed question can serve as a natural transition, seamlessly guiding your reader from one idea to the next. But don't limit yourself to just questions. Another powerful tool for crafting engaging introductions is dialogue. A snippet of conversation can instantly breathe life into your writing, making it more dynamic and engaging. Imagine you're writing about the challenges of communication. You could start a section with a brief dialogue between two people struggling to understand each other. This not only illustrates the point, but also draws the reader in, making them feel like they're eavesdropping on a real conversation. But how do you use dialogue effectively without disrupting the flow of your writing? Section 8, Creating Suspense, Leaving Your Readers Wanting More The key to using dialogue effectively is to keep it concise and relevant to the overall point you're trying to make. Avoid unnecessary small talk or filler words that don't add value to the narrative. Each line of dialogue should serve a purpose, moving the story forward or revealing something new about the characters or the situation. This keeps the reader engaged and invested in the story. Another effective technique is to create suspense. Suspense keeps readers on the edge of their seats, eagerly anticipating what will happen next. End your section introduction with a cliffhanger, a provocative statement, or a question that leaves the reader wanting more. This can be a powerful tool to maintain their interest. This technique is particularly effective in narrative writing, but it can also be used in other forms of writing to keep the reader engaged. Whether it's an article, a blog post, or even a report, suspense can be a game changer. For example, you could write, little did I know, this seemingly insignificant event would change my life forever. Such statements create a sense of mystery and anticipation. This immediately piques the reader's curiosity and makes them eager to find out what happens next. They become emotionally invested in the outcome, but how do you create suspense without being too obvious or predictable? The answer lies in subtlety and timing. Drop hints and clues gradually and let the tension build naturally. Section 9. The Importance of Clarity Ensuring your introductions are easy to follow. While it's important to be engaging, Clarity should always be your top priority in your writing. Avoid using jargon, overly complex vocabulary, or convoluted sentence structures that can confuse readers. Remember, your section introductions should serve as a roadmap for your reader, guiding them through your writing and making it easy for them to follow your train of thought. If your introductions are confusing or difficult to understand, you risk losing your reader's attention altogether. So how can you ensure that your introductions are both engaging and easy to understand for everyone? Section 10. Putting it all together. Crafting a cohesive and engaging piece. The key to crafting effective section introductions lies in finding the right balance between creativity and clarity. Don't be afraid to experiment with different techniques and approaches until you find what works best for you and your writing style. Remember, the goal is to create introductions that are both informative and engaging, drawing your reader in and making them eager to explore your ideas further. With practice and attention to detail, you'll find that crafting compelling section introductions becomes second nature. But most importantly, 
How can you make your writing truly stand out from the crowd? Section 11. Conclusion. The Enduring Impact of Well-Crafted Introductions. Mastering the art of writing effective section introductions is an invaluable skill that will elevate your writing to new heights and captivate your audience. By understanding the techniques and strategies outlined in this essay, you'll be well on your way to captivating your readers and leaving a lasting impression that resonates. Remember, a well-crafted introduction is an invitation, a promise of the engaging and insightful journey that awaits your reader, drawing them in. So go forth, experiment, and most importantly, have fun with it. Your readers will thank you for it, appreciating the effort you put in.